Well, it's not every day that one gets so excited about a service, a piece of software. Well, I can't call it a piece of software because it's uh, positioned in the cloud, so it's not uh, something that you can download. But this is the site, Tiny Wow. It is wow. Um, it's a conversion tool. It does all this stuff for you. If you look at this here, let me scroll down there, and it's, <laughs> first of all, it's totally, totally free. So whatever you process, it holds it for 15 minutes on the cloud server, and then it deletes it. Uh, but within that 15 minutes, you, you can still access it uh, in the collection of stuff that you're busy working with. Um, you can send them your email, and they'll just keep you updated with uh, information. But you don't, I don't know, I can't even remember if you've got a login anywhere. Um, because I don't see a login here, but it picks up that it's on my uh, Chrome browser. But check this out. All of these things here. All of these conversions. E-Sign, JPG to SVG. If you're doing a logo and it's sort of single, um, you know, art, a simple logo, it converts it to SVG and almost does the vectorization. It's, there's no tool to edit it, so it you know just about does that no sort of finer manipulation but as a tool where you can do every type of file conversion plus 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 it is incredible look at this here uh, taking files from Mobi uh, format to EPUB uh, PDF to Mobi able to do CSV to XML crop the image resize video MP4 to WebP I mean <laughs> it's like hectically crazy. So uh, I'm not going to run through all of these things. It will be impossible to do all of that. But just maybe one or two things. Let's have a look at this and see where we... Look at here. Even if you pop out here to PDF. Word, JPEG, PNG. It is incredible. Man, oh man. Look at the image thing here. Profile maker. Like if I just go to this profile maker... If I go to my files here, yeah, you'll see it here now. It's showing you that these files are ones that I've been just working on now recently. Um, and I think if I clear off and go out of the browser, then these things aren't available. But if I'm working in the browser, they appear in this My File section and I can delete them all. Because there, there will be a limit that you can do all at one go, but uh, I haven't really checked on what that limit is for now. But look at this profile maker. So you can come here, let's go and take a picture, um, let me just take this photo here of myself. And we've got to acknowledge that we're not a robot. Oops, I've been flipping through here quite a bit, that's why it's asking me for this now, but I don't mind. Just clicking verify there, and look at this folks. And this is, as I say, totally free, there's no like free version and premium version, this is 100% totally free. There we have little call out icons. We can change the background colors. We can change. Oh man, isn't this incredible? And you download it if you need to use it. So that's Image Profile Maker. Background removal. And uh, this one is um, probably at this stage not as perfect as the others, but let's see if we can go here. Um, we can set a background color if we choose to. Let's just do the remove of the background I again have to remind you that this is totally free totally free and and they've got a feedback thing where they are asking for information on you know how they can improve and certain things to add but there we go there's a cutout now of course like if I look at this here I, I could see that this probably could be feathering and all that but for 90% of the stuff you do, this is going to be perfect. And then you download it or you can load it into your Google Drive. Okay, so I think I've opened it up in my browser, which is linked to the Google Drive. So when you open it here, it, it links it in there. And that's why it remembers the stuff. Okay, increase resolution, blur the background. As you can see, compress image, convert this format HEIC, I know quite a few of uh, like Apple saves their, their photos in that format and you can come do the conversions here JPEG to SVG now I want to show you this here um, okay 
the point is if you're wanting to manipulate and you know tweak and edit and all that in between then of course you, you get another program that can do that if you're looking at just simple conversions if I go here and I say take this image okay so this this is uh, let's go boats one second boats 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 this is just a picture of like an eagle's head and I'm going to convert it from a JPEG to a PNG I mean JPEG to a SVG and look what it does okay there it's done I'm going to just click on here and it's downloading it here if I open this up check this out SVG and it's done this for me it is incredible as I say if you have a more complicated design uh, it, it might not work exactly nicely with it but a design like I'm showing you here now and it comes out just also with two tone it will just be the, the black outline and then the rest is transparent but really folk this is phenomenal to get this and have this accessible like this I, I usually used to open up a program and pull it in here send it there do this and and what I do is now also on my mobile device I just create a desktop link to it and I can access it as I need to manipulate here we can see you can make round image turn it black and white etc under video download Facebook uh, video trim a video video mp4 this is mp4 to webp gif files conversion resize video um, now what was the one thing with video I wanted to show oh yeah. now I've, I've covered that there here again file conversions this is incredible for people who are working with JSON files and XML files bringing them in converting them look at this and this will be growing over time because I think these developers are really on the board uh, a meme maker let's just click that for upload make a meme of oh, just take that image I don't know how that's going to work out oh there we have uh, text that we can put oh, this is so cool so I mean they, they have something that you can utilize let me uh, I'm going to just generate that uh, click there Okay, boats again. And there we go, whatever the text is there. Look, this is really, really cool. Here's another thing that I think is phenomenal is the URL to PDF. So you can put in a website there and it pulls it out and creates a PDF for you. A Lobsom Epson generator. How good is that if you're doing websites? It's like a nice thing if you're doing a mock-up. QR generator, URL tracer. Folk, I don't know if you're excited as I am that one can just have a tool totally free at your fingertips when you want to do stuff. Look at yeah, the, the specialist things with PDFs, merging files, splitting files, all of that. So I hope you start to utilize this tool and uh, yeah, give these guys a thumbs up uh, and then contribute, give some information as to how you think they could assist in improving things. Um, I'm going to put some ideas for here, but I think as a free tool open to the community, it is really incredible. Okay, let's just open up that image that we brought in um, or converted from a JPEG to an SVG. So we get that. There we go. And if you look here in the layers, I'm using Affinity Designer here. Check this out. And we, we practically have now convert this into vectors. So for anybody who is looking for a pixel to vector converter when, when there's you know sort of basic editing, if you're looking at the advanced one as I say, yes you you can this is a single click and takes it across to your selection of options have to be there I did another one let me just see here it was I think uh, yeah this was a amazing when you see what the original looked like this laser so I did this took it into the program and it gave me this which is pretty much vector that it converted to so guys I think this is crazy I think even for for people who are now working and wanting to do 
uh, pixel art to vector conversions this is an option that that is strongly can be recommended the quality is quite 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 phenomenal uh, only if you do the conversion and there's some sort of artifacts there's, there's no editing in that package you would have to bring it into something.